Uh, good evening, folks. We're here hanging out. Uh, I see that one has uh, to put the collar on. This is purple. We're just hanging out, chilling. I think that, um, you know, uh, future breeding people, breeding places, kennels, whatever you want to call yourselves. You know, I'm not that. I'm just a regular person. This is my first breeding ever. You know, I'm just enjoying the moment, enjoying the, the 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 process. You know, you're going to get this video in a couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to share my life with the American People Terrier. Um, I'm just hanging out here with here this one right here. <laughs> You know, with this one right here. This other and uh, laying somewhere else in their house, but he got he got some of the puppies here. All the puppies are, I think, I don't know if they're all here, but I think yeah, they're all here. Sleeping, resting. I think that. Um, People that are looking to buy puppies in the future, I'm not sure how it's done now, but the puppy meal thing is not a good thing. The pu just getting puppies through the door just to get some money is not the greatest of things. Here I'm, I'm, I have American Pitbull Terriers, what's called a game bread American Pitbull Terriers. They have, um, they come from a lineage of, um, uh, well, first, they, they have a mixture of, obviously, in their pedigree, of dogs that were in the 90s, yeah, considered uh, great dogs themselves, and coming from great dogs in their own pedigree, in their own, you know, first four generations. Uh, and I think that in these dogs and all, any other type of dogs can be... Um, Raised, you no, know, from birth, around, you know, as inside the house, for, you know, if you're gonna sell them as uh, pets, why not get them used to being pets? These dogs right here, they're two months, eight weeks, and you know, two mo two weeks ago, they already learned how to go in places like that. Let me see if I can tell it, like that. That's P mats. Um, so at six weeks, I do have seven puppies right here, and I don't have to worry about picking up after these puppies all over the place. I already taught them that there's a place for that. You see, oh, sorry about that. And you see, this this is a, a one of those office mats that are plastic. I bought that so that. The floor doesn't get messed up more, you know, because sometimes they miss and they, you know, if you urinate there over and over, you know, sips under. All right, I put that under it, okay? I've never actually focused on that. Yes, that is a, a, a slap mill right there. I am not, you know, this is a, a, an exercise machine. And yes, that is a, a, a um, uh, that isn't a working out machine for me. Whoops. You know? So, what? You know, if you're thinking something's happening because of here, are you thinking um, something's happening because of that? That is my, although I haven't worked, used it in a long while, you know, elliptical. My elliptical, I haven't used it in a while. I have other machines in other rooms in my house. Okay? But again, I'm just sharing my life, my enjoyment to and learning from them. These are my teachers because each one right here have seven different type of personalities. And these personalities are teaching me from their own point of view of life and their genetic predisposition. Disposition. You know, each one has their own personality. This is purple. Um, let's see if uh, I, 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 well, I only have really one hand, so I won't put the collar on her right now. 
Who is this? Who are you laying on top of? Blue. Okay. Blue is a male. Blue is uh, one of the biggest. No. He, blue is the biggest male. Okay. Just in size. Blue is the biggest male. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm also going to say, you know, he does stand his ground. When he wants something, he keeps it. But you just happen to have been born the biggest male. He eats like the biggest male. He eats a lot. You know, I'm enjoying this is two months. I think that people that are breeding dogs and, um, you know, I know probably they have more than one litter, but maybe you shouldn't. Or maybe, maybe you can have more than one litter and have this in-depth information about each puppy. Anyway. This puppy is here. It's very, uh, you know, like I said, he's a, a he's very intelligent. He's the one that first uh, learns things, how to get through things, get the things they he wants. So, and but I'm, I think that as you can see by the tile, always try to find a way of, of finding out how big things are. Or how you know, <laughs> he's gonna be a, a big boy. Okay, it's gonna be a big boy. So that is a lot of times negative in in um, American people terrors. He's gonna be a big boy. Uh, how much you think he's gonna weigh? I'm always gonna say the weight that I think, but again, I am not an expert in um, having litters, litters, and a lot of puppies. Well, I do have. I've, I've seen. I received a lot of puppies, but they were. Uh, basically, uh, they were basically brought to me at a certain time, and I'm not sure if that's the truth, uh, the same, the truth in, in their age. But anyway, I think he's going to be a big boy, big boy meaning more than 60 pounds. You know, 60, yeah, 60, yeah, maybe 55 go, something like that. Go to the, um, when he goes to the park. So... He's gonna be yeah. If he goes to the park a lot, he'd be sixty. But <laughs> of not fifty five, I think if he went to the park a lot. But there's other ones, like I said, uh, each one has their personalities. Oh, uh, black, I call him by the collar. He every time he's the sweetest. He's the smallest one. He's my tiniest. He's compared to this. Whopper against you know Junior, he don't even know the same. But he is he stands his ground every time. But but he doesn't you know he doesn't want too much. He's very quiet unless you know he's into whatever he's doing. But he's very quiet. But he's a very cute. He's a very cute puppy. And yes, he was my firstborn. Well, like he was the firstborn. I recognize him but uh, two marks here. In here, it, it, the videos hopefully that I put, I think I placed. Uh, I'm not sure if I put the the right ones, the one that when he, the first puppies were born. I'm not sure if I put those in there. Uh, I was there. It was three o'clock in the morning. I slept on the sofa, and then the cage was next to me, and I slept on the sofa. Simple as that. It's the living room. We, 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 this is um, what we do. We there, but I don't know what I needed to be there for because again, uh, it was the first time. But I was ready with things. You know, obviously, uh, I have the. I'm not dumb, but uh, my um, the mom was was great. Mom was great. First time, but she she loves me so much, but <laughs> she didn't let me um, let me. Uh, Basically touched them for a couple of days. A couple of days. She probably, was, she you know, she got to deal with things, and I, I didn't want to go through, uh, through um, things with her. I, I didn't want to uh, force myself into it and touch them. And then, uh, you know, I've heard that they, sometimes they kill the, the the puppies once you touch them. And I'm like, All right, I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't need need to be touching them. I'm gonna wait for her to be okay with it. You know, so I did. I waited for her. But, look at that. Nice and clean. Yeah, mama. I, I'm just showing your teeth, mama. I'm just showing your teeth. 
It's not like you show, you know? You sure? Look at that, nice and clean. You could figure the other side is the same way. <laughs> but, no, she's a couple of years old, three years old. But again, I'm just enjoying my life and sharing my life. The American dream that I have with you. You know, I'm not selling you anything. You know, the, I, I, I dare to have this uh, breeding, this litter of dogs, because I already had individuals interested already in people that are, well, I trusted that they would come through uh, when they say they wanted to get this type of dogs. Um, and I've known them enough to know that they, you know, have a certain level of understanding. Again, not all of them are getting, you know, um, obviously the most uh, experienced people get the more um, intense level of these dogs and the, the ones that are looking for just regular pet or, or, or certain attributes of dog uh, of a dog, then I try to find that, that type of character, that character trait they're looking for in one of these dogs. And I think that in, um, if you're looking at, uh, you know, kennel people that are uh, producing puppies for uh, these, these puppy stores or whatever, you know, the, the commercial aspect of the selling of puppies, I think this is way better, way, 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 way better living, way better uh, raising than, you know, putting them all in cages or whatever, however you uh, enclose them. Because if you want them to be pets, you know, these are too much. But uh, at certain points, I let them out, probably you know, fourth week. No, third, yeah, fourth, fifth week. By the time they were able to walk, I let them out in, in a certain area. This is my living room. Certain area. The back of where I am, the back of I'm just showing you my beer. Back uh, where I am, which is uh, uh, kind of like this area here, like this behind me, and then I have a, a hallway and a bathroom. Okay, so I'm just showing you how it is so that you understand. I think that this is if you're looking for to raise puppies to sell to other people. This is the best way of doing it. You know, you're, you're racing. Uh, they will understand what it, what it is to be a pet. Because you're raising them as pets you're from the birth. So they don't have to learn too much. Because right now, the first few weeks of life are the, the, the most important time for them to learn. Because they're looking for... Uh, information they're looking for guidance in life they, they 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 get it from mom but because i've been in i've been there or you are going to be there as close to right there from birth as possible they see me perhaps almost as good as her maybe now i'm better because now i i bring them chicken because they eat chicken at this point <laughs> you know but they saw her more before because she brought the milk. What's it? Huh? See, like I said, they, these, you know, you see, they got some bite marks. Yeah. Got, got nothing to do with dog fighting. Just part of being a dog and part of being a pit bull. You get marked, you get scars through the life. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, it got nothing to do with dog fighting. You just being dogs. These dogs, let me see, these dogs already got scars. Is he, is he over here? Yeah. Am I fighting these puppies <laughs> at, the, at the month? No, they're fighting, they're play fighting themselves. You see that? But it's okay, because these are not, you know, endangering their life. This is your simple growing up, you know. I know I, I scar myself and now my cousins and everybody else around me. Uh, we scar got scars from just playing on the bike, you know, riding the bike or whatever. Any sport, it is what it is. Okay, 
but this is way better than being dead. Okay, people that are, ah, you know, try, just, you know, can't have a hatred towards a breed. We can't. We have to stop that. The type of mentality that we have to be, hate the breed and everything is mean. No, this is how beautiful they are. And I'm sharing this, perhaps, you know, I talk too much and people will knock on my door, take my door, uh, bring my door down, and I can't stop them from taking my dogs and myself and whatever. But this is going to stay here forever. And, you know, you gotta, like I said, these are not active, they're real dogs, they're not acting, they're just chilling. What's about? I want, hmm. but anyway, it's been 16 minutes. I hope you understand this. I'm like I said, make, I'm not making any loud claims. Only claim I'm making that I love the breed, that I'm about to breed. This is my number one priority in this life. And I'm like, whoa, you probably, yeah, you're taking it too far. No, I'm not taking it too far. I'm, I'm just making, I'm bringing it to, to regular public words. But there's a lot of places that are trying to destroy the breed. And I'm trying to preserve it. I'm trying to save it. I'm trying to uh, bring it to the next generation. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make a buck. <laughs> and these, these these are piranhas, man. <laughs> these piranhas. <laughs> if you're not ready, they, they, they eat your house. You know, but it is what it is. It it it's a learning process. Like I said, this female right here, when she was, on, she she was the only one taking care of the puppies, uh, in terms of feeding, she was eating. Ten damn quarters of chicken a day. Ten. Now, I'm not giving them all at once. But give me that. There's like splitting four different meals. Four meals a day. And she ate ten of them. And she never got fat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, most of the most of the dogs what's up, meow. You good? See that with a puppy? Well, I, 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 you people are going to think, wow, what's going on? Even the puppies? Right now, they're, they're, it's time for them to sleep. But that's why she, he, she, you know, it's chilling. They're not trained yet to not get on the cat. When, in the daytime, like poor, poor cat right now can't be on the floor because every time she, the cat gets on the floor, they jump on the de poor cat. All of these dog puppies, all these puppies get on, on top of him. And the cat has to jump on, on top of something else. But right now, he knows the cat, the dogs are KO. They ate. They didn't eat a lot, but it's time for them to sleep. So they're sleeping. And, you know, they're, they're, they're great growing up in my living room. Uh, and I uh, right here my TV, and um, I put my TV very not pretty good, pretty loud. Different sounds, different things, different commotions. So that also helps them. You know, it, it, either there be a a dog for the yard, a dog for the house. Then now these these dogs, you know, all these firecrackers and all that. Nothing happened. I don't like you know. None of my dogs are like this. This things. Ha my dogs don't get affected. I, I don't understand why people say, "Oh, uh, this and that about firecrackers." You know. I, I guess I have to take take a look at them. But oh, I've been talking for a lot of a uh, long time. So I'm gonna leave it here. All right. This is Tony Montana. Till next time.